Hi everyone, it's me, Rebecca, the book nester, and I'm coming to you with my review, finally, of the BFG. I have really enjoyed reading this book. However, there are some things that kind of shocked me about the book, but overall, a really fun read. Uh, very unusual. I've never read a road doll before, so this is my first time. Of course, this one is coming out and as a movie soon, and I am wondering how the adaption is going to be, because I'm wondering what age group it's being aimed at, uh, because it's got some dark, dark little things about it. The story begins, as so many do, with a small orphan little girl that is up out of her bed. Her name is Sophie, and while she is up out of her bed and looking out of the window, she sees a giant walking the streets of London. She immediately jumps back into her bed, frightened, trying to not make a sound, but the giant has super de doo hearing and knows she is awake and has seen him. He snatches her out of her bed through the window and promptly plops her in his sack and races off to his cave in giant land. Once in the cave, he plops the sack down onto his table and Sophie peeps out. Sophie learns that he is a big friendly giant and does not eat humans. She does learn he is a dream catching giant and is also looking for good and happy dreams so that he can give them to the small children that are sleeping. He stores those dreams in jars. He explains to Sophie that though he is a big friendly giant, the others are not and that they eat human meats every night throughout the world and if they find her with him, they most assuredly will eat her too. The big adventure continues when Sophie and the BFG overhear the giant's horrible plan to go to England and guzzle up English children by visiting boy and girl schools and orphanages. Sophie is so distraught, she begs the BFG to help her stop them and comes up with a plan. A plan that includes hopping the stone walls around Buckingham Palace, sitting on the Queen's window ledge, and giving the Queen a nightmare so real that she has to help the BFG and Sophie. Yeah, it's it's interesting. I, I feel like Tim Burton would have read this book growing up as a child. I definitely do. I feel like that might explain a lot. When I read books like this, I am looking to see what age and what group of children that these books are written for, and there's a reason for that. I actually work with children that have speech and language difficulties, and I love using books and literacy to help build the children's vocabularies and build their sentence structure and build their language as well as plenty of opportunities to work on their articulation and how they speak. So I love books and I use them very heavily during my sessions. So when I read a book I'm looking at it from that kind of aspect a lot of times to see if there's a way I can incorporate it, particularly something that has a movie coming out such as the BFG. The fun side of this book is it's very funny, it's very strange, it's very odd. I have a feeling this is very road doll. And when I say that I went on a road trip with Mr. Doll, it's been a little bit of a trip. <laughs> One of the things which I love is the BFG has a tendency to really mess up his language. Uh, he doesn't speak particularly clearly because he uses incorrect words. So a perfect example is you and I would not be human beings, beings, we would be human beings. Now part of that reason could be get, getting it confused because the giants eat people, so therefore we're food. So it makes sense that we would be human beings. So having that referred to over and over is very funny. But that also brings up one of my, not issues, but children understanding how close those two things are. You know, the missing out on humor that's in this book and having the awkward way that the giant speaks without you having previous knowledge of what it should be. So in this case, knowing that it should have been human beings, but he said human beings, and the humor there being, oh gosh, this is going to keep going on. Yeah, it's a drinking game. If I say the word being or beans, just go ahead, guzzle up. Uh, <laughs> but the word human being is funny because they eat them like they're beans. It could be something that you might end up having to sit with that child at night. Um, you might be having them sleep in your bed. You might have some nightmares where they're waking up in the middle of the night. I mean, there's a lot about this story overall that is quite, quite difficult to some degree. But getting back to the language, you have to have a lot of context, previous knowledge to understand these, the 
quirky way that the giant speaks. So let me give you some other examples. Let's see, it says, so he would say, I will be nothing but skin and groans. So we know what he was attempting to say was, I will be nothing but skin and bones. And a small five or six or seven year old may not know or understand the concept of skin and bones. And they definitely are not going to know to switch it to skin and groans. So that's some of them. The other one is, um, oh, save our solos, deliver us from weasels. Now, again, we all know that that is going to have to do with uh, a prayer and, you know, souls should be solos and weasels should be deliver us from evil. Um, again, a lot of this would be very funny for you and I to be reading, but I don't know about with children. The next thing is a lot of made-up words. There's a bunch of different words for the dreams. There's whiz poppers, whiz popping, which is a sign of, oh, actually whiz popping. That's actually a word for farting. Yes, for farting. Uh, sorry, but there's fizz wizard and truggle humper. So fizz wizards are really great dreams and truggle humper is a really bad dream. A lot of times, though, all that the BFG is doing is kind of switching things around. So he learned his English by teaching himself to read Nicholas Nickleby by, I love this, Dolls Chickens. Yeah, instead of Charles Dickens. So I think that's kind of, you know, that's very cute and that's interesting and I love it and it made me laugh, made me write it down in my journal. So there's just so many things going on. It's a great book for that. And I think that if you're willing to you know, use it as a way to talk with your kids and kind of like try to decipher what the, the, the giant really meant to say, I don't know, I would love everybody to read it because I think it's a good story. On, but I don't know, again, who it's really aimed at. I, I don't think it was aimed at us, but yet I think we would get the adults would get the most enjoyment out of it. Interesting, interesting road trip. That I took because Mr. Doll was a trippin'. Yeah, he was.